Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review we are looking at the Previews Exclusive Mezco Scorpion. This is the Scorpion that has the blood sp spatter, splatter? I'm not sure which one is the right term. Either way, he's got the fake blood all over him. Because he doesn't really have an ice clone or electricity or anything like that, so they had to do something to make him different, and they gave him blood. Which a lot of people said at first just looked like he was a piece of pizza with cheese and pepperoni. I never really got that, and I think this looks pretty darn good, and the way they did the blood, the way there's lots of speckling and then the large sp splotches, and then the uh, some spots are darker and some are lighter, it gives it kind of like that translucent effect, it really does look like he's covered in blood, so I think it's a really nice, nicely done piece. Uh, if not, maybe a little overboard. Even for Mortal Kombat, it still looks really good, there's blood basically everywhere on him, whether it's just spots or giant chunks it still looks really cool uh, unfortunately he didn't come with the swords which I was kind of hoping he would come with but he did come with his uh, little spear things which do have blood on them as well I was hoping for maybe a little bit more but that's the way it goes it still looks awesome they do have the blood effect on them and he comes with his alternate hands his gripping hands which is I guess they just want you to use the regular swords I don't know but gripping hands with the blood effect and then he comes with whatever this is. It, uh, it looks like a little glowing orange skull with a strap on it. So I'm not sure what that's for. I guess you could maybe hang it. Hang it from this, although I'm pretty sure that's just supposed to be a piece of curled leather. So I don't know, maybe the gripping hands are meant for holding this. You guys know I haven't played the game. Uh, but if he holds a little glowing skull, then that's what this is. And he comes with it now, so that's kind of cool. Again, uh, Scorpion's not as much of a liked character for me as Sub-Zero, but I really think they did a good job with the blood and it's a pretty spiffy looking figure, so I'm going to say I recommend it. It's not as cool as Sub-Zero or Raiden, but still a nice piece, especially since Mortal Kombat is all about the uh, vicious fighting, so the blood makes perfect sense. So I definitely recommend it, guys. Stick around here for some photos at the end, and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see my upcoming figure reviews, custom figures, and other good stuff. And in the meantime, there's his face if you're curious. Keep collecting.